What is up, everybody? It is Brian with First Shot Tactical, back with another video for you here today. And today, we are checking out the Bore Boss cleaning kit here. They have all the different calibers. This is for 223, 556, but you can buy it for 9 mil, 762, and whatever else. But this was like 10 bucks at the store, so I was like, you know what? Let's give this a try. I got a uh, AR upper here, so we're going to go ahead and see if this works good and see if it's worth you guys uh, picking up. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, got it out of the packaging here, and looks pretty cool. So the way it works, it says, is you flip this open. It's like a little rubber condom kind of holding everything into this wheel here. And when you do that, you get this string that we are going to... I think feed through i gotta check the instructions make sure and then obviously we have our cleaning brush and the uh, cloth that follows as well so let's go ahead we'll grab our upper here and let's try and feed this through correctly all right we got our upper here so yeah we take this we pull it fully out of the packaging here so it's just a loose string with the brush and the cloth that follows and then now we're going to take the end with just the ball and we're going to feed that through first so i'm going to feed it through let me see if i can get the rest of it on now it's a little long try and get it out the other end so i did feed it through so you just feed that ball part through and i'll show you on the other end here that the ball came out the front and i did have a little bit of an issue it got caught where the muzzle device is here for some odd reason so i just pulled it back straightened this part out and then it fed through okay so once we have the ball exposed on the other end there's a little hook here on the device. You can see right here. So we're going to push it through and clamp it down. I think just like that. Yeah, there we go, like that. And then now all we have to do is pull and that'll bring on the other end, if we can move this down, it'll bring the brush and the cloth all the way through. So all you do is pull it through and this is where you gotta not be shy with it. All right, not going to lie, I had to do this off camera because I'm trying to do it on the floor. And this is a 16-inch barrel, which is already long. And then this is a pretty long cord to feed all the way through. So I had to set this on the ground, hold it with my foot, and then grab this. And I'm uh, trying to pull it all the way up, and I did get it through. And it is a very tight fit, which is good because that means that these bristles are getting into that bore. And then that cloth is just going to follow and clean your barrel. So it does work, So, but just a heads up, you know, again, you put that ball right into the holder like this and then you just grab here and then you're going to pull it all the way through and again it is a snug fit so you got to pull pretty hard and then you can repeat the process as many times as you want overall thoughts on this uh i think it's not bad uh it's definitely better than what i was doing before i just had like a ramrod and the scary part was it's a very tight fit with the bristle that i was using and as i tried here it is very tight as well but you want it to be tight to clean it. So I think this is a better way where it's on this nice, uh, sturdy, uh, like, you know, nylon rope here where you can pull it right through versus I was just using a metal rod that might break or have issues with. So not a bad idea. I'm definitely going to keep using this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to buy the other calibers yet, but as far as for 5.56, five, I think that was always the most difficult for me to clean uh, just because it's such a smaller diameter bore. But this should help, so... So that does it for this video here today. If this was helpful, like and subscribe to the channel. Got a bunch of other videos up now for you to check out as well. And if you got questions, let me know down in the comments. Always happy to help. Until next time, have fun shooting and we'll see you soon. Thanks everybody.